Guys, hi. I was thinking today we could learn a song called Death Cup by Mom Jeans. It goes like this. And other things happen as well. Let us begin. The guitar's in standard tuning. You are gonna need to put a capo on the first fret. You can play almost the entire song without the capo, but there are just a couple spots where it comes into play. Well, let's learn that riff that they play throughout almost the entire song. It goes a little something like this. You're gonna put your ring finger on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. That's how counting works on this fifth fret of the second string from the top. Your pinky goes on the fifth fret on the string right underneath that. Then your middle finger plays the fourth fret on the third string from the bottom, and pointer finger plays the third fret on the second string from the bottom. I bring my thumb up. My thumb doesn't actually play anything on the top string. I just kind of rest my thumb up here because it's comfortable. At this point in time, we're gonna, we're gonna play the second string from the top all by itself, then the third string from the top all by itself. Then you're gonna play the second string from the bottom on its own, and then back up to the third from the top, and then third from the bottom. So that was. Hear that rhythm? It's. Uh, and. Uh, one more time. Uh, and why, why am I going? Uh, I'm going uh, at the beginning because there's a little rest right at the beginning. If I'm going one, two, here we go. Uh, there's like this chasm or chasm of emptiness right there at the beginning where we don't play anything so I have to fill it in with an uh and I recommend you do the same what a stupid thing to say immediately following that you're gonna play the third string from the top again and then you're gonna play it again so you play it twice in a row it's like uh Okay, but then immediately after that second time playing it, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna kind of relax all of your fingers except for your pinky. Your pinky needs to keep pushing down hard on that fifth fret. You're gonna slide your pinky all the way up to seven. So you slide it two frets up to seven and then slide it back down to five. If you are not used to sliding, if you're not using, using if, you, if you're not used to using your pinky, if you're not used to sliding with your pinky, this is gonna be a little brutal. Your pinky's gonna have to build up some strength, but it goes a little something like this. We go. You hear that? I slid up to seven. I'm, I'm pushing against the string the entire time. So there's a lot of friction between my pinky and the string. Slide up to seven, keep that pressure. Don't let any pressure go away, and then slide back down to five. Let's, should we try it together? One, two, nice and slow. Uh. How'd you do? Should we do it a little slower? One, two, here we go. Uh. My slide was a little weak there. Guys, I needed to have a taste of my own medicine and practice that slide. Also, look, you get black, can you see the, you get black lines on your finger. I think that means my strings are dirty. Gross. We're gonna do that twice. We're gonna go, uh. We're all, we're all like halfway through the riff already. I know you haven't mastered it, but at least you know the notes. Then we're gonna switch chords. That was a, by the way, this right here is like a G chord. See, look, here's a G chord. Here's a G chord. And here's what we're doing. See how they all sound kind of the same? And then we're gonna switch to a C major seven with a nine, C add nine chord. You're gonna put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. This is, this is a little bar chord we have. You have to have your pointer finger pushing on that third fret of the second string from the top, but then you need to smash down on the other strings with your pointer finger as well. Notice my thumb that used to be up here has now come down here, so I'm like pinching the neck of the guitar between my pointer finger and my thumb. Okay, great. Then your ring finger is gonna be on the fifth fret of the third string from the top, and then put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. So we've got nothing on top, then three, five, 
four. And then it's crucial that your pointer finger's really pushing because we're also gonna play the second string from the bottom. And we need to hear that note right there from the middle of our pointer finger. That's where it's, you're probably, for a little while, it's gonna go, it's gonna go like that. It's gonna drive you absolutely crazy and you're gonna stop playing guitar and you probably should. Don't, no, I'm being facetious. What does facetious mean? And does facetious just mean you're lying and then pretending it's funny? Uh, this is our C major nine chord, guys. You're gonna play the exact same picking that we did on this chord. So you've got this chord ready, then you go. So it's the exact same picking. Second from the top, third from the top, second from the bottom, back to the third from the top, and then third from the bottom. And then you play the third from the top twice. And then now with your ring finger, you're gonna slide up to seven and then slide back to five. So that was, uh. It's actually a little bit easier with the ring finger. So I think this chord's gonna be ever so slightly simpler. And you're gonna do that twice. Let's try playing what we have so far. We're doing this chord twice and then this chord twice. One. Two, three, four, uh. Again. Then switch chords. Again. I meant to say again, but I just said again. I don't like anything I've said so far in this video. That, we're learning the intro right now. This is the intro riff. So we just played the first half of it. Going into the second half of the intro, it starts off exactly the same. We go. Same thing, then we do the same thing again. We go to that other chord, the C major nine. We do it once, only once this time though. Then we're gonna go like this, listen. We changed one note. You're gonna start off, okay, okay, here's what you do. You, so we just played this C major nine riff part once. And then what you're gonna do is take your middle finger and you're gonna move it down to the second to bottom string. So now it's on the fourth fret of the second to bottom string. You're gonna play the same picking, but right after you play that note, you're gonna move that finger back up to the string it was on before. So we go like this. You see that? You see that? Look, I'm gonna do it again for you. Then we'll play it together, okay? Uh. And then you do the, that thing again. So let's play just that part, just the part where you have to move that finger. One, two, here we go. Uh. How'd it go? Are we okay? One, two, one more time. Ah! Uh. People of the world, we have completed the introduction to the song Death Cup by Mom Jeans. Are we ready to play the whole intro all the way through? Let's do it. One, two, three. Wait, no, I lied. There's one more thing I have to show you at the, at the oh, this only happens at the very beginning of the song. The First, the very first thing we do, instead of saying, uh, and just waiting, we're actually gonna strum those middle four strings and then we start the riff. So we go three, four, strum. But that only happens the very first time. Every other time we go, uh. Okay, does that make sense? Here, let, let's play the whole intro all the way through, nice and slow. You'll hear me do the strum and then you'll hear me do the uh. It's all gonna make sense. One. Two, three, four, strum. Ah, uh, see? Then switch. Switch. No strum that time. Ah. Uh, switch. That was a close one. Then, 
You did it. You played the whole intro with me. It was so much. It was so great. I can't wait to do it again. But not right now. Right now, what we have to do is we have to learn the verse. I have great news. The verse is exactly the same as the introduction to the song. Literally, note for note, exactly the same. We play it all the way through once. And then after we play it once, we just play it a second time. Now, at the very, very end of the second time, we do this little build up. Here's what, here's what happens. You know how in the intro we went like this? In the verse, the second time through, instead of going, we just go like this. So that was, I had this C minor, no, just a C minor chord. And I'm gonna strum it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times, I think. Yeah, 12 times. So here's what I need you to do. Put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Smash down on the bottom five strings. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. Pinky on the fifth fret of the third from the bottom. And then middle finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom. This is a classic C minor bar chord. And you're going to strum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means at the end of the verse, right before the chorus, they go... Ready. And then now we're at the chorus. Guys, you completed the intro, you completed the verse. How do you feel about yourselves? I'm just gonna do a quick little guitar spinning trick to do it. I'm gonna hold it the wrong way. And then we're ready to learn the chorus. The chorus goes like this. <laughs> I cut my hand a little bit. You know what you're gonna do is we're gonna do a classic G chord, guys. It's middle finger, third fret, top string, pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger and pinky are on the third frets of the bottom two strings like that. Classic G chord. You're gonna strum one, two, three. And then you're gonna, you know, let's see, one, two, three. And then th there's like three beats of silence. Rest. One, two, three, two, three, again. Two, three. Oh, then we switch to this guy right here. It's just, a, it's that same chord we were playing before, just a slightly different way of playing it. That didn't make any sense. This is a C major nine, just a different one than we did before. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, and pinky on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. It's kind of an awkward one. We've got three, two, uh, four. Four, three. That was hard to do when looking at the video, not at my hands. I should probably just maintain eye contact at all times with you. But you see, I immediately went over there again. I'm having, I'm struggling with this whole situation here. This chord is weird to play, but the good news is you have like three full beats to get to it. When you get to it, you're just gonna strum one, two, three, just like that. So now, and, and then we're gonna go to that C minor bar chord. Do you remember it? I should like, I showed it to you. So just go so you remember it, great. Now you're gonna play one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, then one beat of rest, then one, two, three, then one beat of rest. Uh, you do that tw twice and that's the chorus to the song. So let's play through it once together right now. One, two, start with G. One, two, three, one, two, three. Rest, 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 rest. Rest. Then they do it a second time, but I have to confess, I told you a tiny little lie. The tiny little lie I told you was I said that you do the exact same thing twice in a row. That's only half true. You're gonna do the exact same chords, but the second time through, in between each chord, they go like this. So they're going. All they're doing, they're playing the chord, one, two, three. Then they're just very lightly touching each string with the finger, but not pushing it off. You push, it sounds like this. They're just lightly touching, and they keep strumming, just one, two, three. 
ha. So we're going one, two, three, mute, 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 mute. One, two, three. See that? That muting is not a big deal. It just kind of adds some more, some more forward momentum to the song. We've learned the intro. We've learned the verse. We've learned the chorus. It's time to learn the rest of the song. So after the chorus, there's a little interlude. All the interlude is, is it's the second half of the intro. Second half of the intro means we go like this. I messed up. Well, look, I forgot to do the rest. I forgot to do the uh. And let that be a lesson to all of you. If you don't think of the uh at the beginning, everything's all screwed up and you embarrass yourself on YouTube. One, two, three, four, uh. Uh. So I said the second half of the intro, that's why we went straight to the uh, instead of playing it once all the way through without that. I don't know. So that's a little interlude. Then we play the second verse. Second verse, literally, note for note, exactly the same as the first verse. Then though, then, we play chorus number two. The second chorus is literally, note for note, exactly the same as the first chorus. I'm gonna chill out a little bit. I always say that, it doesn't really work though. Oh, I got a little thing poking up right here. I'm just gonna leave it, I think it looks good. Then we get to the bridge. So I don't really wanna do the bridge because I don't entirely remember it. But here's what I'll say. They, they keep doing that riff. But they do it an octave higher. I don't know if they're going like, on, a, on electric guitar this would be easier. They might be going like, Whoa. I don't, I don't know, okay? This is a waste of everybody's time. This next part of the song, it's sort of like a bridge, but not exactly. It's just sort of like the, the heavy part of the song where they get all loud and energetic. Um, the, what, it, look, when the, in the studio recording, he goes up and he does the... He plays that little riff thing way up here, but it's awkward to play, it's not fun to play, and when they do it live, he doesn't do that. So I'm not gonna show it to you, because I'm not quite sure, I don't know exactly how he does this. So we're gonna do what he does when he plays it live. And when I say he, I mean the lead singer and guitar player from the band Mom Jeans with their hit song, Death Cup by Mom Jeans. We got their G chord ready to go, and we're just gonna strum, bam, Then you take these two fingers, you move them down like that. Now we've got a C add nine chord. You're gonna strum one, two, three, four. Then we go to our C minor chord. Remember that one? And you're just gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. Then do the exact same thing again. Play it with me. Three, four. And then we get to like, uh, this is like the the next section of the heavy part of the song. It's basically the chorus, but it's like a different chorus. So I'll show you what we do. Get a G bar chord ready. Yes, there's a bar chord now. Pointer finger plays third fret on the top string. Your pointer finger is also going to smash down on the third fret of every single string. It's not a super big deal. Just make sure you have the top string. You'll be fine. Ring finger plays the fifth fret on the second string from the top, pinky plays five on the third from the top, middle finger plays four on the third from the bottom. You're gonna strum three strums, then you're gonna palm mute. Palm muting is where you take this part of your hand, you just gently put it right here, you guys, like this, and we're gonna go. So it's just kind of muted and muffled and sounds very cool, we're gonna go. I don't know how many strums that was. I basically just counted to eight. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I switched to this chord right here. Does this look familiar? This is our C major nine from the beginning of the song. You've got pointer finger bars, the bottom five strings on the third fret. Ring finger plays five on the third from the top. Middle pling plinger plays four on the third from the bottom. You're gonna go one, two, three, and then palm mute three times, one, two, three. So it's one, two, three. Oh no, you're gonna palm mute nine times. One, two, three, four. 
Yes, I am correct. We're gonna switch to the C minor chord. You remember that one, and you're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. God, I took, I took, that was a poor explanation. Play it with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we go back to the G bar chord, we go same exact thing. But then, after we're done with this G bar chord, instead of going to this chord, we're gonna go like this. So here's what that was. That was, I did an A minor seven chord, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Mute the top string with your thumb if you possibly can. You're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. And I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. And then you're gonna play this chord right here. This is a D over F sharp chord, you guys. You got pointer finger, second fret on the top string, ring middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, and ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. You're gonna strum one, two, three, one, two, three. So now we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do those same two chords again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's play the way that's like the whole heavy chorus part. Let's play that whole heavy chorus part together starting from the G bar chord. One, two, kind of slow. Okay, we have made it to the final new section of the song. We're almost done with this whole mess. We all we all came here just to learn the uh, that part. We learned that ages ago. All this other stuff is just it's just well, I'll tell you what it's doing is depleting all my electrolytes. Oh, I didn't mix it up. I just got a mouthful of salt. That's better. Oh, my shirt got wet. This last part of the song is a screaming part of the song. Go to the G chord. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna take these two fingers right here, move them down a string, the C add nine chord. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then we go to an E minor seven chord. Here's how you do that. Keep these two fingers down here on the bottom string. But then take your pointer finger and your middle finger, put them on the second fret of the second string from the top, and middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. You're gonna play one, two, three, then you scream. Now, I'm gonna play it, then you scream. You ready? In the comments, go ahead and scream. And then you go to this guy. Remember this one? This was our D over F sharp. Scream. Then we go back to the C add nine. Scream, back to the D over F sharp. Scream, so that's And then you do that whole thing again. Hey! Oh! Ah! Hey! Forgot the chords in the middle of it, but I think you get the picture, right? Um, and then, how do we end it? That's right, we go back into that. We do the third verse. Third verse is exactly the same as the first verse, exactly the same as the second verse. And then after we finish that, well, yeah, I'm just, my batteries are depleted. Much like the battery in my smoke detector was depleted last night and it was going beep, beep, couldn't figure out what, you know, somehow every time a battery dies in a smoke detector, it's like a whole thing. It seems like that should be a simple thing, but it's like a whole ordeal every single time. Mm -hmm.